Hi and welcome to another episode of Winning at Life. My name remains Tanita Samo, and this is a very special month because it's my birthday month as well. And of course, it's a brand new month. And definitely, it's always a new time, an opportunity, I believe, that every day we get to see. It's a privilege given to every mankind who is alive today to not only experience life or the beauty of life, but most importantly, you're given an opportunity with a brand new canvas to redraw, repaint, and re-sculpture the idea of life that you think you want to have for yourself. So the conversation that we've been having on this podcast called Winning at Life is an exceptional one. Why? Because every time the old idea is, how do we all win at life? What must I do to have a better life? How do I get a better life for myself? You know, every day, you know, every day we are hustling and hustling and what exactly are we looking for to better our life, to better our standard of living and, uh, you know, to give yourself uh, what I presume a quality of life that we use to ensure that we give ourselves such privileges and opportunity. All right. So, hi guys. What up? How are you? Can you hear me? You, you got a funny future on your face that makes you look quite funny. How are you, man? All right, so this is Winning at Life, and there's a brand new month. What we do at Winning at Life is just a chat, a platform where we inspire our mindset, and you kind of give us a remodeling and a repositioning of a frame in our mind to help us see life from a different perspective and give us an opportunity to pursue life from a winners and a champions our position. Why? Because I believe we all have what it takes to win at life. What you need to be the best version of you is right inside of you. But not many of us know how to discover that and not many of us know how to develop what it is that we have. So this platform called Winning at Life is a podcast that we do. Uh, at least we try our best to do it daily. But what is most important is that we try our best to push so that people can start to find a meaning in their life. People can start to find purpose in life and find the real meaning of life and so it is it is not just possible for me to say you can go win at life and i stand here as a motivational speaker no i'm a coach and when i mean a coach i'm a business coach i have businesses i I train corporate organizations but what is more important is it's not enough to say go do something without telling us how to get it done and without giving us a blueprint on how it is done and giving us a model of who did it and how they did it and what they did that made them have a better position in, at life at that matter, all right? So Winning at Life is a program, is a podcast where we discuss the principles, the components that makes you and I a champion and how we live life from the perspective of a champion and experience life. See, it's one thing to live, it's another thing to have the quality of life that you want for yourself. So today, the conversation is, I'm just here to charge us because it's a brand new month, all right? Uh, tell me, Gunoso, how are you? Where, are you? where are you connecting from? Where did you join this live from? Good. Uh, how are you? I'm from Namibia. Good, from where? Namibia. Hey, how's Namibia? Awesome. Yeah, Namibia is okay. It's proper. All yes. right. Awesome. I, All right. I heard you mentioning of uh, topics. What topics do you, uh, in your podcast, what topics do you focus on? All right. So the platform is called Winning. The podcast is called Winning at Life. Right? So daily with the friends, we discuss different topic that helps us win at life. You know, I believe yeah. to become a champion is an intentional decision that you pursue. All right. You don't wake up yeah. and say, oh, I slept and I just graduated from a university. You have to intentionally apply and go to school. You know, you don't wake up. Yeah. The Champions League wasn't won by Real Madrid because they, they were not participating. Manchester United could not win the Champions League because they were not, they were kicked out, out of it. So Real Madrid had an intention to win and they played like those who want to win. And that's the same way a lot of us look at life. Not so many of us play like we want to win. And I'm here to remind us that if we must win at life, there must be the intentionality, the practicality of the, strategic positioning, systemic approach, structured lifestyle, a disciplined lifestyle to pursue as a champion. The difference between yeah. footballers and Cristiano Ronaldo is what? Is that mindset that I am a champion and I want to remain a champion. Even, even at his aging uh, stage, 
he still yeah. wants to think he has all it takes to become that world-class champion that he is. And I'll say this again, it's going to take almost another 100 years before another type of footballers will come and beat that man called Cristiano Ronaldo. Because mm. talent is not what got him there. Discipline got him there. You know that. that Discipline. Yeah, there are a lot yeah. of African players who play, who are more talented than Cristiano Ronaldo is. But guess what? They don't have the discipline. They don't have the culture yeah. of a winner in their mind. And so what we do on this podcast is basically to sit and discuss this culture and ensure that people who join it daily find social media not just as a place to while away time or waste their life, but basically find meaningful life probing thought-provoking ideas that they can yeah. imbibe in their own life and create a new culture and go be a champion. What I want to believe is at the end of today, you yourself can become a champion right in Namibia and you start helping other champions. You start raising other champions. It's all here. And so if we say winning at life, there are two things we need to unpack. First, what do we mean by winning? What is life itself? And my philosophy and my definition about life is that life in itself is God giving you and I the privilege to co-create, co-own, and co-manage the planet Earth together yeah. with Him. All right. Okay. So when God created the heavens and the earth, I'm a Christian, so I believe in the Bible. Like, you get what I'm saying? Now, yeah. He made Adam and Eve, right, in a small garden. How many nations do we have in the world today? So the expansion and the extension of creation has been done by man. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, that was what God designed. I'm putting you here to take charge, to lead, and to. So when it said, uh, "Domi take dominion, have dominion, replenish," yeah, what was saying is expand, increase, multiply. You know, and that's that's so that's what life is about. So that breath that you and I have is God's yeah. privilege to mankind. And you discover that once that bread is out, you're gone. You don't have any, you cannot participate in this place called Earth anymore. But as long as you and I have got this bread, our job, we are here to solve problems, create, to invent new things, to innovate things that are already existing, solve problems that are existing and ensure that we leave the world better than we made it. That's why we're yeah. here. So it simply means there is a purpose for your existence, right? There's a reason why God decided it was time for Gnosso to be born. And he decided, I will put you in this family for a purpose. I'll put you in this kindred for a purpose, in this state, in this nation for a purpose, in this community for a purpose. It means there is an answer in you that is designed to solve that community or family's problem or nation's problem. But not many of us live to the full potential to know how to unpack this greatness that we have. Now, then that was what we discussed the very first week, our understanding of life itself. And the second week, we touched on the conversation. Looking at our world today, yeah. to win at life, there are three things that makes you win at life. And one of the most primary thing is money. Mm -hmm. Let's, um, you know, let's look at from a material perspective now, all right, money. Yeah. And I had to help us understand what really is money. Is money the paper we chase? Or money is something else because the paper is an exchange for the value that you bring to the marketplace looking at your background i presume you're at work or somewhere now at the end of the day or you're at your office at the end of the day you give your time your skill and efforts that's why you're paid time skill and yeah. efforts are paid and that's what money is about yeah. but every point in time you think you lack money or you want money all you need to do is well, i have time do I have skills? Can I put in an effort to make something happen? Then you get paid. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's yeah. why people pay. Me. And so when we discussed the subject matter of money and I said value and I had to understand what really is value. When we talk about value, I broke value into three perimeters. Number one is creativity, competency, and character. All right. If you own a business today and you have a staff who is the best, it brings in all the sales, but is a serial rapist. That means it's got competency, but it's got bad character, very flawed character. Will you keep that stuff? Yeah, good thing, yeah. If they have good characters, I'll keep it. If they don't, I will not no, no, keep no, no. it. But if he has a bad character, what would you do? I will not keep them. So it means that character is even better than the competency. Can you see that? Yeah, so yeah. That character at every day will flaw your mm -hmm. creativity and your competency. 
So that drove us to discuss that when you talk money, there's another type of money called character, the currency called character. And I said last this past Monday and Tuesday that character is a, is a tool. Monday and Tuesday, we discussed the currency called character. Mm-hmm. And on the concept of the currency called character, I believe, and I know, and I've seen it, and it's well proven over the years, and you can testify that if you look back, there are things that your money couldn't afford. You didn't have the resources to acquire them mm-hmm. at some certain yeah. point, but your good character gave them to you. Somebody looked at you and said, because you're well-behaved, let's even start from growing up. We get rewards from parents for good behavior, yes or no? We get yes. rewards from parents yes. and for the teachers yeah. just for good behavior. Yes. Now, you discover there are people mm-hmm. today who drive a Rolls Royce, a Lamborghini, who own a private jet, not one penny of their money body. It was simply because somebody saw their good character, their good behavior. Number one, they must have brought value to the market. Don't forget, you cannot separate. So you can be a good person, but you don't know how to do anything. Nobody will give you something. They will give you only handouts. Yeah. Right. So it's not enough to just be a good person. So if you're a very good person, and you don't have skills, you will end up being somebody's loyal servant. Or you're bigger than a servant, you know that. Mm-hmm. So the question yeah. is, if you bring value and you have got competency, hey, Rez Ramasuma, how are you? That's my faithful friend on TikTok, who is always done in the life, all right? So what I'm saying is, it does not matter yeah. how great your Com- your skills are it doesn't matter how important what you do is yeah. as long as you lack character yeah. the character defect will affect the positivity of what you're pushing but if you have good character alone and you don't have competency and character you would only be a loyal slave all right and you're better than a loyal yeah. slave mm. you're better than that yeah. you are better mm-hmm. than a loyal slave what is important is you should become somebody so the blend of character competency and creativity is what i call value why would mbappe be a valuable player to psg he's got skills right that's competency and he's got what creativity but creativity because if they are losing he can spin off a magic and they win and he's yeah. at least at the moment he's got the character compare yeah. the likes of him and you know this player diego costa very stubborn player who played for chelsea one time who would fight everybody fight coaches and yeah, everything yeah. you see such players yeah, would have yeah, gone yeah. far but character kept them some coaches will yeah, look at yeah. some players and say, oh, he's a good player, but I can't work with this attitude. Do you understand where I'm going at? Yeah, yeah, I understand, yeah. All right. So, so what is now important? What you're, yeah. what you're saying, the components of value is characters, uh, characters, um, skills, and um, competence. Creativity. And creativity, creativity. okay. So it's, right. it's, so it's three Cs, character, yeah. creativity, and competence. And you need to have it three C. In if you if you lack it, your CV is is not heavy. You need to have a good CV to say yes, you're creative. You yeah. you 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 have the character. Because oftentimes when you come for a job interview, we don't test you for IQ. No, we test you for EQ. We want to see your character. Okay. We want to see yeah. who you are. I guess what your paper say you you have. All right. Yeah. So the three C's. Thanks. Thanks. I'm Suma, thanks. It's the three C's. It's got creativity, competency, and character. That's what you need to survive, to grow, to grow. All right? So what I'm here to discuss this morning is the first day of a new month. All right? And this is what I say every first day to everybody. Listen, the first day of a new month is your opportunity to to press the reset button and relaunch. Mm -hmm. All right? You have an opportunity to reset and relaunch. It doesn't matter what has happened or what is not happening, but this is a fresh canvas. It's going to be fresh new month for everybody in the world. It means I don't want you to give yourself a 10 years goal now. Give yourself a 30, 31 days goal. It could just be one thing. This is the one thing I want done or I want to achieve in the month of August. Reset and what? Relaunch. 
reset now in your process of relearn resetting what are the things you must do to reset means you need to first reflect all right you need to reflect because if you don't reflect on how the past seven months of the year has gone then you're never going to understand how you journey within the remaining five months that is starting today all right so what is your reflection framework how are you reflecting what is your reflection framework what is the reflective framework that you're using to to judge to say okay am i where i want to be have i started yeah. am i there yet what am i missing all right mm -hmm. so this is what i say to people at every time you're reflecting ask yourself those three questions question number one is what do you, what was i looking for mm -hmm. well so my need is question one my need okay what was my need what was it that I was looking for my pursuits? Okay, well, that's one. Number two becomes, what did I lack that didn't make me achieve the, the needs? Okay, so it could be skills, it could be creativity, it could be character. That's always where we're lacking as human. Go and check it. Yeah. Go and check it. So sometimes it could be, oh, you didn't have the right skill set, or you didn't have the right attitude, mm -hmm. all right? Or you didn't have the right understanding of how to get yourself into a new frame of mind okay so yeah. what did i lack thanks 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 from suma my need number one what did i lack number two number three is who was the person i needed yeah to open the door that i needed to access so the top would let's better frame it is who do i need that i need to meet Mm -hmm. Because oftentimes we think we can run this life as a, on a roller coaster by ourselves. No, no, no. You're not an island. No man is an island. Myself speaking to you here, I need people to get me to the next level. Yeah, yeah. Right? So the question is, what relationship do have I managed so far that is helping me to get to my goals? Yeah. Now, when I speak about people you need, I don't talk about from the perspective of using people. No, you've got to build a symbiotic, a very symbiotic relationship that has benefit for the two parties. Big part. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, who was the person I needed in the last seven months mm -hmm. that I did not get? Mm -hmm. But if I, only I got this person, I would have used this network. Now, remember, is a network. Mm -hmm. I would have used this network to enter my next level. Who was this person? Do you get? So yeah, now let's unpack. So that is your, your reflection mode. So when you're reflecting, those are the things you must consistently ask yourself. What was what was really my need? Okay. So because sometimes some of us set out at the beginning of the month without a clear cut objective. Yeah, so yeah. what I'm saying today is as you reset before you relaunch. I need you to go have a clear cut objective. So you reflect and on your reflection framework, you need, oh, what was my need? Have I met it? If not, what really is it? I don't, I didn't say my want now, need, my need. And oftentimes when we speak need, we think very myopic and we think, oh, my, 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 my hunger, my, my food, my money. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm trying to grow a business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah right. you know, we can we can have a conversation, but I can tell you, you have an idea of where life is going. You just don't know how to navigate it. You know what you want. That's that's the truth. We all know yeah, what we want. Yeah. The challenge is we don't know how to navigate it. We don't know how to get there. But do you know yeah, what yeah. you want? Yes. Clearly. If I ask you now, what do you really, really want? Okay, let me bring you to. So within, uh, <laughs> you say no, you're serious. Okay, this is what's gonna happen, right? You and I are going to have a private chat later, okay? But right. let's have a private chat later. No, no, I'm talking to Ramasuma um, online. Oh. So, can you just hold on? Uh, I'm just addressing okay. what she's saying. You and I are going to have a private chat later, uh, Ramasuma, so that uh, we we help you unpack. This is what I do professionally, right? Mm -hmm. I coach people to greatness. I help people find purpose, meaning, and profit. That's my job. Professionally, I do it for individuals and I do it for corporate organization. So I would help you. It's important because I believe is one of the few things that once we start to journey in that direction and you see it clearly, 
you would you will discover how far you can go in this life the greatest discovery is finding you finding what you're wired for and leaving it and that's what brings me to love what i said i wanted to pattern today reflect reset relaunch it's the first day of the month okay. so now after you have done the first part of reflection what i need you to do the next phase in your reset mode is what i call visualization all right you need to visualize what is visualization what does it mean to visualize yeah i want you to see see the entire month of august ahead and picture how you would want it to be in terms of greatness success champ as a you know accomplishment so visualize it mm -hmm. see visualization speaks about your ability to capture a mental picture of the future that you want i say that again visualization or visualization gives you the privilege and the yeah. opportunity you want to, to capture a mental picture of the future that you want so the word visualization stems from what we call imagination just dream it's as simple as that how would you want your life yeah. to go i have businesses i'm pursuing i want it to be a yes from this client i want this proposal to be a yes i want this job i'm seeking for i want it to be a yes i want it to be a yes now i'm going to answer you um, Suma, you've got to have positivity all around you. You've got to be positive minded. It doesn't matter what they are saying out there. I don't want to read and hear you say, I tried for jobs, nothing. I tried opening business, nothing. No, 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 no. You can't keep staying at nothing. It is what you say it is that it will be. All right. You become what you think about and you become what you also talk about. Okay. So they may not work how you want it but how do you want it how do you want it you've got to start speaking what you want even though it doesn't look like it yet but the more you say the more you talk about it the more it becomes because words are life words become flesh that's what the bible says and that's what i enjoy about christianity because the bible is a book that guides and um, i mean gives us an overview the bible is actually the book of life school is not life but the bible is if you read the bible it will amaze you the things you learn most i can tell you that 1001 percent of the things i share today i learned all from the church and from the bible not school okay. That's yeah, good. Good. so i want to say to you ramsuma you need to tell yourself that i will start this business it will work but the question is how are you starting it could be the problem if you lack the knowledge of what to do the tendency that you succeed is one over two or zero over two, because if you don't have the knowledge of what you're trying to do, how would you know how to do it well? Remember, you're here to serve clients and clients want the best at best price. So, like I said, you and I are going to find time. Just drop me a message, then we'll find time and connect. That's Ramsuma. OK, so coming back to what I was discussing with us, I said, number one, you need to understand that you, this is the first day of the month. The goal is to reset and relaunch. And in your position at the means at the time you are risen, mm -hmm. setting to relaunch, you need to reflect. Reflect what the past seven months has been like. What did you yeah. do? And we spoke about three, three compartments. Number one, what do I really need? What was my need? Did I meet it? If not, what was I missing in terms of skill? What did I lack? And who did I need that I needed to meet that I've not met yet? Okay. Yeah, yeah. When you discover those three, you come back to the next phase, which is what? Like I said, visualization. You got to see it. You got to see that the month is going to go well. So you visualize, all right? You believe. Okay. Don't, just, don't, just, don't just say, oh, I know the month is going to go well. And you sit at home. If I believe that Grenoso is going to give me a contract, after I believed, what do I do? I come knocking at his door to say, hey man, this is this I'm proposing. Do you understand? So yeah. it means you visualize, you believe. And belief is action. Belief is not just, you don't seek to believe. You act, your action is your belief. The proof of your faith or the proof of your belief is action, right? So the proof that you believe in something is how you act about it or what you act or do about it. 
So you don't say you love God, but you don't worship, you don't go to church, you don't do the things that God wants us to do. You don't say you love your dad or your mom or your parents or your husband or wife, and you don't show it. So action is how you prove that you believe in something. So if you believe in your dream and you believe in the goal that you would set to achieve in this month of August, you've got to what visualize it. And after doing that, you believe it. And after believing it, what does it mean to believe? You believe firm enough in here that it pushes you to act, that that belief pushes you to take mm. action. Okay. So visualize, believe and take action. Now, when you are doing, when you're taking the action, it may not look like something is changing, but I can guarantee you something is changing. Every point, every time of your life, at every point you take action, there would always be an equal and opposite reaction. That is what Newton's thought love motion says. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now, for every non-action, there is no equal and opposite reaction. So if you believe in the law of motion that says for every action, there is what? An equal and opposite reaction. It means your job is to take action. Just take an action. There would definitely be cause and effect. For every consequences for the actions. And when I mean consequences, if they are good outcomes, let me not even use the word consequences, but the outcomes for what you have done. All right. So I want everybody, mm -hmm. as you step out into this moment, believe, like I said, visualize, believe and act. Believe, That's the mandate. Act. All right. Visualize, see it, That's see that cool. it's possible. <laughs> See that this is what I want to pursue. Yeah. This is what I want to get. See it. Not just with your physical eye, because your physical eye will tell you opposite. Your physical eye will show you the problem. Your, your mind eye will show you the possibility. All right? So see it. Believe yeah. it. Take action and wait. And you don't stop until you get what you're looking for. All right? Don't stop. Until you get what you're looking That's for. Yeah. Never stop. Don't stop. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you know, you could try years and years. Don't if you if you believe in it, if you've seen it. And see, and it's simple. The question mm -hmm. is, this is what I say to people. What we all have a number in our life that we feel if we have this number of money or wealth or acquisition of things, you never be broke again in your life. Mm. Right? Everybody has, we have this idea, oh, if I just hit $100 million, $1 billion, I'll never be broke. Nobody in my family will be broke again. Absolutely. We all have such numbers. <laughs> and I want, I like to tell people, yeah. you've got to have such mindset because that is already you planting a seed of greatness in your heart that this is my number. All right. I have a number in your head. Now, this is what, this is the next step to that visualization because that's where the visualization begins. You see a number and you see the, 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 what changes around your life because of that number. You see, an, you see an input to say, if I get this job, this is what is going to change in my life. So we all have a number. So after the number, this is the next thing I say to people, how, what can I do legitimately, legally that can give me that number? All right. Yeah. So remember that visualization is bringing mental accounting and strategy in play. Yeah. I have a number. I like this number. How do I get this number legitimately and legally? That when I get this number, I will have the life I want and I'll live the life I want and leave it for myself, my wife, my kids, and, and everybody in the world to benefit from. So yeah. that's the thinking you should have. Champions think in a certain way. Champions have belief. 98% of the world's richest people today believed that they were going to be rich. Mm -hmm. They believed, they had a belief that they were going to be billionaires. They mm -hmm. had believed that they were going to be good people, even though they didn't know how, but they believed it. Mm -hmm. They believed it. So you've got to believe. Mm -hmm. So I want to say big thank you to all, to you, especially Gunusu from Namibia for joining and you, uh, everyone who has been here. Thanks, uh, Renz Ram, uh, Ramsuma. Please, like I said, hit me a private message. Let's talk. Thank you, Girls Talk from Atonito. Thank you, 
Lydia for joining. Thank you everybody for joining this live. Uh, I, I got to jump out now because I'm also working. And um, let's keep the ball of our vision alive. Let's keep the dream alive. Keep pursuing, keep believing. It's a brand new moon. Go out there, believe, see it, pursue it, believe it and pursue it. And when you have it, multiply it, okay? If it, yeah. if it works in this month, it will be double for next month. And that's how we grow, right? So until I see you guys again some other time, have a lovely day. God bless you. Uh, God bless you too. All right, sir. Bye. Yeah.